Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ritnika and you have reached Natural Vibration. This is the May love reading for all fire signs. This could apply to anybody who is single or coupled. If you have somebody as you're thinking of. These are general and will not resonate with everyone, so just take what resonates. Fire signs, okay. Um, just want to let you guys know I have opened up my private readings. So if you are interested in booking a private reading with me, you can go on to my website, naturalvibrations.in and book a reading there. My turnaround time is just a couple of days and um, all details are also in the description box below. I'm also on social media, so do follow me there, Natural Vibration. And uh, I'm also on Instagram as Ritnikane. So let's see what's in store. Fire signs, love, me. All right. I hope you guys have been safe during this time and, you know, being safe at home. <laughs> it is a tough time, isn't it? All right. So let's get started. Uh, fire signs, we've got the sixth house, which is work, health, and duty area of your life. And then we've got Jupiter, which is your confidence courage, self-belief, and luck. Interesting. So I feel in the month of May, fire signs, um, I think your focus will be a lot on um, the important things you need to do around the house, uh, depending on where you are. Either you're still in lockdown or you've been able to move around a little bit. Maybe you've been able to work a little bit. Everybody's in a different place and these are general. But the focus is going to be more on um, you being a good, uh, good, uh, good provider, you taking care of your house, you taking care of your family. I'm also getting that you might be taking care of yourself. This is all about you putting the effort into health into taking care of yourself maybe you start you know you're going to start focusing on eating more clean maybe start focusing on an exercise routine uh, maybe start moving you know moving around a lot more the focus is trying to you know kind of reform and repair yourself and take care of uh, your body your mind your work all areas of your life that are you know that are important for your well-being and then we've got jupiter courage self-belief and luck so here I'm getting that um, in the month of May, it might be more about you finally getting the confidence to kind of go open your heart up to love. Uh, we will pull more cards to see what else we get here. But with the confidence card, it could mean a couple of different things. One is that you have the confidence and self-belief now to kind of go after love. Maybe up till now you've kept your um, heart closed off to love and now you're finally opening yourself up to that. You're sort of taking a leap of faith as this man is doing here and you're ready to soar because of that, because of that you're now putting some time and effort into you know working out take eating healthy taking care of you know your surroundings your home things like that because maybe you're now ready to you know I, you know when we're not in that phase of wanting to date or wanting to open up our heart or maybe even not um you're not really meeting anybody because you're in lockdown. You're kind of not doing much. But now that you are, you're kind of ready to go out there. You're taking care of your body. You're taking care of, you know, what you put into your body, your work, everything. So let's get some more cards. Fire signs. Love me. All right. So we've got one card. This is discipline, boundaries, and armor. Okay. We've got fairness and balance, and it was reversed. And we've got two more cards. We've got the big picture angelic help, and it was sideways. I'll put that here. And then we've got the fire prince, optimism and or aggression. So, okay. I feel like at this time, you're definitely um, coming into a more um, happier frame of mind. I feel for some of you, you may have been really bogged down by external factors, stress, um, other people's opinions, 
all of that has been really affecting you. Maybe you've been caught up in the 3D a lot more and, not, and forgotten about the 5D, forgotten about the bigger picture, forgotten about the spiritual connection and, what, and the fact that the universe always has your back. But I feel in the month of May, you're going to start kind of forming healthy boundaries around yourself. Um, you know, maybe you've been really affected by, uh, by people, by situations, and that has caused you to kind of not take care of yourself, uh, be, you know, lack self, self belief, lack the self, um, love that you need to kind of go after your dreams and desires but i feel in the month of may that is changing you because you are now creating a very healthy armor and boundary around yourself that means that you're protecting yourself from negative influences you're no longer letting other people's bullshit other people's opinions the 3d world other factors influence you as much as they were earlier and because of that there is going to be a shift before you were not balance because this was reversed you were not balanced you weren't being fair to yourself your energies were not balanced and that's what this is saying this is in the space where you start off with in the month where you are not balanced but as the month uh, evolves as it grows as you keep creating these boundaries you will be able to be more confident you will be able to go after what it is that you love you will be able to take care of yourself in ways that maybe you were neglecting i feel for some of you um, you may not have learned that you need to have this boundary and and this is a reminder that you have to stop getting affected by other people other people's opinions and um, and influence has caused you to you know to uh, to have an imbalance the imbalance in your energy to cause you to be unbalanced and that needs to change you can change that by making you know by creating healthy boundaries for between yourself and, and other people who pull you down i feel in the month of may you are definitely looking at the bigger picture you are now realizing that it's not about the 3d it's not about what other people say it's not about you can't do this you can do this it is about the bigger picture not to get bogged down in the mundane every day but to look at it from a from a whole different perspective the the universe always has your back and i feel like finally you're now you're reminding yourself of that we all know this it's just that a lot of times we forget about this and i feel like that's what's happening in the month of may you're now realizing that look there is more going on and everything is connected and i need to start taking care of myself if i don't have love for myself if i don't have the courage to allow love into my life if i don't have the strength to take care of myself, my body, my, my, my surroundings in a more, to make it a more loving space, to make it a more healthy space, then I will never be able to get that kind of love. So you have to start with yourself first. And I feel like that is something you're realizing that it is all connected your energy your self-belief how you love yourself you know really affects what kind of love you get into your life and i feel like by making this healthy boundaries around yourself by balancing out your energies through exercise through yoga through cutting out negativity you're going to now start seeing the bigger picture and that is going to lead to optimism that's going to lead to good things i feel like if you have been stuck in the negative this is what you need to do you need to start realizing that there is something bigger happening that you can't always see and if you don't know what to do or where to turn the universe is saying turn towards them ask the angels ask god ask universe to help you because they're here helping you during this journey the first step is working on self the first step in the month of may is to make sure you are in alignment with your higher self and taking care of yourself and everything else will work itself out all right so we've got three cards here the first one is embrace embrace through each other you find the missing pieces all right we've got this one which is imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolve into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your light okay and then we've got this one which talks about balance there you go 
put that here and then balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of a relationship a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges so i feel like yes definitely uh, there's going to be i feel like you're now realizing that you need to get rid of unwanted thoughts and unwanted um situations from your life even if you are in a couple situation even if you are with somebody i feel like you're letting a lot of negative thinking and a lot a lot, a lot of letting the outside people's opinions affect you a lot more and now you're realizing that none of that matters you need to start cutting out things which don't serve you and then you're going to be able to find balance this balance is starts off with yourself which in a way expands to your partner if you are alone it's all about you finding balance within yourself so you can allow love if you are coupled this is telling me that you need to first balance yourself so you can restore balance in a relationship that might be going through a challenging time because without self balance you're never going to be able to have that and once you do once you cut out things and once you start finding the balance you will find like you have um that you both you and this other person that you're with kind of makes you know come back together in a loving way i'm also getting for singles this will allow you to to uh, this will open you up sorry i'm getting a lot of thoughts quickly which is why i'm talking so fast i apologize <sighs> okay slow down <laughs> what this is telling me is that i feel like for those of you that are single it starts with yourself and when you start loving yourself when you start finding that balance when you start seeing the bigger picture and start being more optimistic about your love life you will be able to find somebody who comes into your life and it's like you've it's like the missing piece in your world that you've been waiting for all this while and i feel it all starts in the month of may um i'm not much into astrology but from what i've been seeing from other people that i follow the next couple of months whether you're in a twin flame dynamic or if you're single or if you're in a couple regular soulmate relationship things are changing drastically there's a lot of change there's a lot of growth there's a lot of movement and i feel it's all starting now it's all starting in may and you're definitely going through that as well so just remember that if you haven't reached this space this is the step which is to create healthy boundaries cut out negativity balance your energy work on yourself work on your self love work on taking care of you and your surroundings that will allow you to see the bigger picture allow you to be more optimistic and that will eventually allow you to get love in your life all right fire signs i wish you all the best i would love it if you could please subscribe to my channel take care bye